This is a big pile of a very old pecan. And I leave it there because it grows food for me. These are woods ear mushrooms. Look at them, they're glibbery. I waited too long with these guys. They're already a little bit past prime, but I have these. They're the dehydrated ones. And that's what I use in the soup today. These dehydrate really well. They're also um, easy to identify. If you're new to mushrooms, look them up. Here are all the ingredients for this yummy soup. I love it so much. If there were one soup for the rest of my life, that would be it. Well, a good creamy uh, potato soup with bacon isn't so bad either. Anyway, the only crucial thing is to um, put the ingredients in at the right time. So I have my three major breakups here. This is homemade uh, chicken broth and the dehydrated mushrooms, the smushed down lemongrass stalk, I just hammered that a little, and the hot peppers that cooks first until the mushrooms are almost done. Then I add greenery, I have some longevity spinach and some moringa. And then these noodles take a little longer. I'm just using noodles today that really have to go because they've been sitting around for a while. Some fresh grated ginger, carrots, onion, add what you like. Everything I make is always, I add what I like. Um, and I put some tomato in it towards the end because I like it when it still has a little bit of bite. We maybe need some sugar because it gets a lot of acid in it with uh, lime, in my case lemon, because I don't have lime, so you want to balance that out some. And then this thing goes at the very end. Those are the glass noodles. They take no time. This is cilantro. comes out of the freezer. It's still too hot. And like I said, I don't have lime, so I have some lemon. And I also put an egg drop in it, so that egg's going to get beat up. And then at the very end, I just let it go in. And then I also season at the end with some miso paste and um, possibly some soy sauce as well. But it depends how I like it. These two you should season together because the miso is salty and the soy sauce is salty. So make sure you don't get too much salt in it. Although I like salt. So let me get going. Um, the mushrooms are rehydrated now. That really doesn't take long with these. Of course you can use fresh ones or different mushrooms, whatever. And uh, now it's time to put in the noodles, the greenery, the vegetables, and especially the ginger. This soup is so flavorful. The ginger really, really pulls it out. Look at these guys. From crunchy, dehydrated, to this yummy thing. It's all glibbery. I love it. It does not have any taste. It takes on whatever you cook it with, but it has a really nice texture. You can, it actually has a bite. It doesn't get mushy than other overcooked mushrooms. It's perfect for soup. All right, this only takes about three, four minutes. You just want to blanch the vegetables. I don't like mine all mushy. I like it with a little bit of bite. And now to add the tomatoes. And at this point, I start seasoning it. Because all we have left now is just the glass noodles and um, the cilantro, the things that go in at the end. But now I'm going to add the miso and um, some soy sauce, maybe some salt and pepper, however. But it has the hot pepper in it, so it's already on the hot side. Here goes the scrambled up egg. This just gets a gentle stir. Now the glass noodles, and it's almost done. Right, that's more. At this point, I shut the heat off because they're just going to soak in there. They don't really need to boil. I pulled out the lemongrass stalks and the hot peppers. Um, because I'm the only one who really likes it hot, I have I can't I have to heat my stuff up in the plate because otherwise it won't go over well. I just nip the ends over there so the seeds won't come out but it could cook it through. So I take them out because sure enough somebody's going to bite in them and then something breaks loose. 
And the only thing left now is to add the cilantro and the lemon. And that's it. Soups off the heat and I'll plate it up. Done. All done and ready for me to eat. Oh, I wish I could describe how just flavorful this is. There is so much going on. It's the ultimate comfort soup. Especially when it's cold in winter. I hope it will be cold one day in this winter. That was it. Hot and sour soup. My way.